sobre la base circular de concreto comenzaron por tender una membrana inflable un globo el globo pesa cientos de kilos pero eso no es nada comparado con lo que sigue Varias toneladas de acero reforzado se ubican en su lugar gracias a un complejo engranaje de resortes de alta tensión. Luego, como la cobertura de un pastel, 300 toneladas de concreto húmedo. Seguido de una segunda membrana para mantener todo en su lugar. Empiezan a bombear aire dentro de la membrana que está debajo del concreto. En menos de una hora, el concepto de Vini se hizo realidad. Pude elevar y darle forma a 300 toneladas de acero y concreto con la misma presión que se necesita para soplar el humo de un cigarrillo. All monolithic domes, regardless of size or design, are built using essentially the same construction process. The monolithic dome starts as a concrete ring beam foundation, reinforced with steel rebar giving the dome the structural integrity needed to withstand fire and disasters. Vertical steel bars embedded in the ring are later attached to the steel reinforcing of the dome itself. Small domes may use an integrated floor ring foundation. Otherwise, the floor is poured after completion of the dome. A custom-designed airform made from a PVC-coated fabric is attached to the ring beam. It is inflated with fans to the specified pressure, usually two inches of water column. The airform assumes the shape of the structure. Fans maintain the pressure on the airform and continue to run throughout the construction of the dome shell. Approximately three inches of polyurethane foam, considered by many to be the world's best insulation, is sprayed onto the interior of the airform. Special rebar hangers are embedded into the foam which provide the base for attaching the steel reinforcing bar. Rebar is attached to the foam in a specially engineered horizontal and vertical pattern. The size and amount of rebar used depends upon the purpose and size of the structure. For example, large domes require large bars with small spacing, while small domes require small bars at larger spacing. Next, shotcrete, a super strong spray mix of concrete, is sprayed onto the interior surface of the dome. The steel rebar is embedded in the concrete. Thickness of the concrete depends on the size and purpose of the building. An average of three inches for a home to two feet thick for a heavy duty bulk storage facility. Once the concrete is set, the fans are shut off and the monolithic dome shell is complete. As each step in the construction process is completed, the dome gets stronger. Its full strength is realized after all the concrete is set.